Ukrainian Airlines flight PS752 crashed minutes after takeoff early Wednesday when it reached the altitude of about 2,500 meters. Iranian authorities said they have recovered the cockpit voice recorder and flight data recorder from the Boeing aircraft but would not share the information obtained from them with the American manufacturer. Ukraine is demanding a thorough and reliable investigation. Of course, we will demand that this investigation is conducted as transparently as possible, so that all international public organizations that could ensure or strengthen trust in this investigation are involved. Ukrainian authorities have suspended all the flights to and from Iran pending the investigation. All 176 people on board were killed in the crash. The majority of the passengers, 82, were Iranian nationals. 63 were Canadians. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau says he expects that his country will participate in the investigation. That is uh, certainly something that we take very seriously, and it is something in which Canada is one of uh, a handful of countries with a high degree of expertise uh, when it comes to these sorts of accidents, uh, and therefore we have much to contribute, and I'm uh, confident that uh, in our engagement, both through our allies and directly, uh, we are going to make sure that uh, we are a, a substantive contributor to this investigation. The Iranian community of Edmonton, Canada, lost several members, including a recently married young couple. There's no real words for it. It's devastating. We, we lost about 1% of our entire community on that flight. Um, people I knew uh, personally very well. Um, every one of our community members was touched in one way or another uh, when that plane went down. The incident took place just hours after Iran fired a number of missiles at two Iraqi bases housing U.S. troops. The crash is a blow to the Boeing company, which was forced to ground its 737 MAX aircraft in 2019 after two fatal crashes within five months of each other killed 346 people on board. Zlarica Hoke, VOA News, Washington.